Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Casual Couch Gaming, with your host, Magnus Tsunami. Today, I will be playing Mario Kart 64. I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so this is the second episode of Mario Kart 64. Again, are we going to be choosing Wario? Of course we are. Today we will be playing the Flower Cup. Let's see how Warrior goes today. It's going to be an interesting race. As Warrior lines up, what's he going to do? And he burns out his engine immediately. Oh, I bet Warrior is definitely not going to be happy about that one. What's he doing? He seems to be toggling between the map and his speedo, bumping into the barrier. Oh, and an instant lightning flattening Bowser and Peach. Will he get Mario? No. Mario manages to get out of being squashed by Wario. Action is already happening in the first lap and Wario has secured first position with his nefarious deeds as Mario yells out Mamma Mia in retaliation. This course is called Toad's Turnpike and it's got a lot of traffic on the road as Wario is weaving in between the cars quite da quite well. Actually, I was trying to think of a word. <laughs> as you can hear, the other racers seem to be struggling as Donkey Kong runs into Wario's shell protection. Wario is definitely defending himself quite well here as he is very carefully dodging the traffic. Wario is definitely showing really strong driving skills as he haphazardly fires those shells and nails Mario. How the heck did he manage to get Mario with such a shot like that? Was it a fluke or did he plan that? I really don't know. But regardless, Wario is now bouncing around. Is he trying to show off? I really don't know. He seems to be letting out maniacal laughs. I dare say he's very happy with what he's doing, laying down death and destruction for all the other races with banana peels, shells and everything. I don't think Warrior has to worry about the competition here at all as he drifts around the corner and gets a boost. Yeah, Warrior definitely is being nefarious today, no stopping him, definitely. And a fake question mark, maybe he should have held on to that. But, he doesn't seem to be too phased. Mario throws a banana and so does Donkey Kong. I think the other racers are furious at him. Well, I would be too if the other racers had be you know, beaten me up. But, Wario is holding strong in first position and nails Donkey Kong with a green shell fired behind. Misses the banana beautifully. What's happening here? And Mario skids out without Wario having to interject at all. It seems like Mar Mario <laughs> has copped the brunt of Wario's wrath. And Wario doesn't even have to lift a finger. It is now the final lap and Wario is holding first position quite strongly. Will that banana nail Donkey Kong? Oh, and a beautiful nail by Wario getting Donkey Kong as Mario tries to get him but suffers by running into one of the cars. It seems like Wario does not have to worry about the other races whatsoever. He's slowly going to the finishing line as Donkey Kong is not far behind as he picks up some items. Oh! Nails Donkey Kong with no effort at all. Wario is absolutely relentless. Wario is not giving up his position in first whatsoever. Will his confidence be his downfall? Well, only time will tell as Mario and Wario, uh, Mario and Donkey Kong are trying to harass Wario and take his position. Oh, and Wario slips on a banana peel and runs straight into the truck. Oh, well, that's karma for you, Wario. That's what you get. He fires the red shell, but it Go straight into the barrier. Oh, I don't think Wario is going to be too happy about that as Donkey Kong and Mario have taken over. Wario finishing in third position. 
Well, that's what you get for being cocky, warrior. That's what you get. Ah, uh, well, never mind. Let's see how the next race goes. And we are now doing Frappe Snowland, the second race of the cup. And Wario again burns out his engine. Is he doing this on purpose? Or is he truly insane? Maybe he's trying to get into sixth position to get a lightning. No, he gets an infinite mushroom instead. Boosting all the way to first position. I dare say that was Wario's tactic the whole time. He's, it almost seems like he's purposely burning out his engine to get a really good item to get way ahead of the other races. That's a very clever tactic, although I don't think it will work for very long. As Wario is slip sliding all over the track. What's gonna... Oh, and he crashes into the wall, firing a green shell. And he gets hit by his own green shell, but he fires a red shell. Immediately hitting Mario, punishing Mario for his own mistake. Why would he punish Mario for his own mistake? Well, that's the kind of person that Wario is. He doesn't care who he punishes, he just wants to punish the world. He wants to watch the world burn, and he wants to get all the money for himself. Wario is absolutely ruthless. He's relentless. I definitely would not want to cross Wario. Donkey Kong is in first position. And Wario slips on a banana, but immediately activates his mushroom to make up for lost time. But he doesn't get any items. He misses out just by a mere millimeter. Snowmen all over the place. One wrong move, and those snowmen could kill you. Wario is trying to overtake Donkey Kong. Manages to overtake him by taking the inner corner. Donkey Kong bumping him. Wario and Donkey Kong seem to be locked in the battle for first and second position. Wario has now... No! Now he uses a boost to try to get back into first. But Donkey Kong and Mario are fighting hard to try and steal first position. It seems like Mario and Donkey Kong are really putting on the pressure for Wario here. Will Wario crack under the pressure or will he completely obliterate them? Or will he come in third position like he did in the first race? I really don't know. Right, Wario needs to play it smart here. One wrong move could end in disaster as he nails Donkey Kong without having to fire that green shell at all. Wario playing defensively here. It seems like this tactic is smart as Mario runs into gosh knows what. I didn't even see that. It was off the screen. As Wario is trying to take those corners carefully. Will he nail Mario? Or will he... He fires it backwards, but misses. Gets a mushroom and uses it immediately. I don't think you should have done that, Wario. Maybe you should have held on to your green shell because it has given Mario an opportunity to catch up to you. But Mario does not stand a chance and Wario nails first position beautifully after a constant tit for tat from Mario and Donkey Kong with the constant pressure from them both. So well done to Mario. Uh, Wario, sorry. <laughs> okay, Flower Cup. We are now at Choco Mountain. Now, if you guys remember, Superboo and I played this course in our Versus. And if you remember, in the Versus match, there's no rails. So I wonder if they put the rails in the Grand Prix version. Well, we will soon find out. I don't know what it is about this track, or what it is about this game. It's definitely different when played on a console as compared to an emulator. Nothing beats the original, honestly. Mario and Wario, <laughs> Wario manages to nail Donkey Kong with a banana quite beautifully. I was about to say that they were harassing him, but never mind. It seems like Wario has dealt with one of the two. As he slides around the corner, coming up to some item boxes, will he dispatch... Mario out of his sights, or will he fail? Well, we will soon find out as he goes jumping across those big jumps. It is now second lap as he nails Donkey Kong again. Wow. Wario must really have something against Donkey Kong as Donkey Kong is now pushed all the way down into fourth position. Regained third position. Mario is still behind. Nowhere to be seen, might I add. 
as we are coming up to... Oh no, there he is. Throws a banana, but... <laughs> and he slips on them, but Warrior avoids them beautifully as Warrior uses a mushroom to boost over the jump. Yes, there is a railing, so a Warrior can't actually fall off as he takes that corner with a drift and a boost, but hits the wall. I don't think Warrior has to worry about Donkey Kong or Mario, as you can hear Donkey Kong in the background right behind us. And again, Mario is not doing very well. He's running into everything, and Warrior nails Donkey Kong with an absolutely beautiful shot. I dare say Warrior has this victory in the bag. All he needs to do is stay strong in this lap and not let Mario or Donkey Kong overtake him. If Warrior plays it smart, he will let the other racers run into his shell shield. And that's a good way of letting them do the hard work for him. Well, we will see what happens as Warrior has a banana in his inventory and the shells as defense. I don't think Warrior has to really worry about being hit here as, oh, Donkey Kong overtakes him. Warrior destroys his banana and kill, well, not kills, but damages Donkey Kong and sends him hurtling into third position. Mario is nowhere to be found and Wario secures first position without a worry in sight. Oh, there's Mario <laughs> right behind. He wasn't too far away. I like that about 50cc. They put the pressure on, but they don't make it too hard. Okay, so we are now at the final lap of Mario Raceway in the Flower Cup. What will happen here? And Mario and Donkey Kong, no Peach, are all fighting to try and get first position. But Wario is not worried at all as he nails Donkey Kong with a banana right off the bat. Wow, what is Donkey Kong have done to poor Wario to deserve such brutal, brutal <laughs> harassment? I really don't know as Wario nails Mario with a fake question mark box. Wario is just not letting the other races in whatsoever as he tries to take a shortcut across the sand and nails Donkey Kong with another fake question mark. I really, really don't know what the other races have done to deserve such brutal treatment. But that's the life of a Mario Karter. It's win or die. Well, I guess it wouldn't really be die, but as Ma Wario skids out on a banana, but trading paint with Mario, as he heads up the hill, He's trying to avoid Mario. Maybe he's going to bait him to run into the shell. Oh, and a beautiful shot by Wario as he avoids skidding on the banana. He's got a mushroom in his inventory. What's he going to do here? He uses it to cut across the sand. Nice tactic there, Wario. I don't know if that will be enough to buy you some time, though. Those corners are tight as Wario is taking those corners like a pro. He is not letting this course or the other races bother him whatsoever as he gets quintuple bananas. I believe it's five. I can't quite count them. Yes, I believe it is five. As he nails Donkey Kong with all five bananas. And I dare say a lot of other races ran into them because he was laughing maniacally. And I would be too. As he nails a banana, gets a mushroom and makes up for the for the skid out. Well, Wario is definitely lucky in this race. If he hadn't have gotten that boost, Wario, Mario may have overtaken him as Wario manages to smash poor Mario with another fake question mark box, nailing first position without a issue in sight. Wow, what a race here, ladies and gentlemen. It was absolutely action packed today. The Wario was constantly bullying poor Mario and Donkey Kong. Poor Donkey Kong did not stand a chance with the constant battering and barraging from Wario whatsoever. Mario somehow managed to sneak into second position. Poor Donkey Kong has come third. And of course, our nefarious Wario has come in first position. Well, that was no surprise, honestly. Wario is absolutely nasty as he is now awaiting his golden trophy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video.
Because I certainly did. And... I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Magnus. Tsunami. Go!